Hi everyone, welcome back. This is April with Plan with April. I wanted to do, sorry for the glare on all of these. As many of you know, I have been using, sorry that's my coffee pot telling me that it's going off. Um, I have been in a Hobonichi for almost a year and a half now. So I have last year's Hobonichi out as well as this year's. Uh, first half of the year, second half of last year, and then first part of this year. I will tell you, just looking at the size of them, this one has a lot more stuff in it. I don't know if I just got to a point where I was like, I'm going to stuff this thing full. I don't know what I was thinking, but my style has and hasn't changed. Like there's, there's some layouts that I put in this one that you will see. This is the first part of 2021. And you'll see similar layouts in 2022. So without further ado, I want to hop into it. I'll keep talking, of course, because that is what I do. Um, but I wanted to really show you what I'm utilizing and what I'm not. Obviously, monthlies are not something that I started. I didn't know really what to put in there. So they are pretty sporadic. I marked a couple of different holidays. Let me make sure. There we go. A couple of different holidays and then of course shark week vacations we took uh, again holidays not a whole lot really not even a whole lot going on there another trip we took and then I start in on my weeklies using the Hobonichi cousin of Actacho I have not used the dailies religiously at all like at all I need to figure out what I'm doing with those and I still struggle with them even though I absolutely love the weekly layout love it and I am in love with the paper too after finding the right pens to work in it um so you can tell this was the first week I was in it it is very minimal I marked my work hours put some different things in did a little doodle nothing too much added a few stickers in here a few date dots and some washi tape again really minimal and I like this I like how clean and organized it looks but I also look at it and I go you know did I did I actually do everything that I wanted to do in it did I track things that I wanted to track it seems pretty even for me this is really minimal I like this layout again I like how simple it is you've just got some washi tape some stickers um, washi tape again some dots just to mark different things I put the weather up here I didn't even say if it was cloudy or rainy or what I just put the the weather in the temperature this one's getting a little bit busier so I must have you know decided to use some more stickers I must have ordered a sticker kit to play with and I do this from time to time I am not stuck in a planning style especially with my channel because I want to share different things and different sticker kits and stuff so this is very minimal as far as like colors it's very aesthetic it's it's pretty so Moving along, pops a red in here. A few little, I got a Helen. I must have got that with one of my sticker orders. I think I got this new washi tape, so I wanted to try it. Again, pretty minimal. I like how I layered stickers here with the envelope for pen pals and then did the YouTube. So, you know, that's kind of fun. Organized desk and inventory, laundry and vacuum. Yeah, I feel like I was really trying to find my groove. Really trying to find my groove here. This one did not have a lot of planning at all, but a lot of going ons. Moly. Back to super minimal. Washi tape down below. Quite a few stickers. Just marked with a pen. Hi, Mark. Just put some stuff over here, that sidebar. If I find a good idea in here, I'm going to carry it over to this year. Lists, of course, are great for the sidebar. I like how minimal this is. I love pink flamingos, so this is like a keeper. Keeper. Marked in my hours for work with uh, skinny washi tape. That is something I do quite often now. I really like that. Also marked this one in with just a highlighter and then went over it with a pen. Again, very minimal. Very, very minimal. I wasn't trying to over plan. I wasn't trying to fill in all the boxes, just 
Yikes, so that is some fruit. I remember this one. I was trying to do something different with stickers. And the beehive, I'm not, the honeycomb, not sure what I was thinking there, but there we have it. This was the week before we went on vacation. Not a whole lot going on. I did not memory plan when we went on vacation. And then obviously when we got back, I was still on vacation mentally. It is what it is. Uh, totally empty on the weekends. Could I have gone back and filled this in? Sure, but why? You know, I want it to be an honest review of what I did for the year. So April, end of April, 1st of May, I wasn't doing a whole lot of planning. I like the blue colors. I think this looks really pretty. Um, a little more going on. It looks like I used a lot of washi tape to mark things and some stickers just to put down in there. So that's another idea. These are Happy Planner stickers uh, that you can use. These came in a kit, so more Happy Planner. It looks like I tried to fill in all the spots with, you know, stickers just to kind of fill it in. And I do like this look. I do like it. Ooh, this one's really pretty. I like the colors. Again, the blues are really nice. I like all the washi tapes. Some simply gilded up here. Some that I got off of Amazon. These are stickers that I ordered on Etsy. And then I've just got some random uh, washi tape and stickers over here. Yeah, I like this layout. I like the washi at the very, very top and then down below here. I like those colors. Very nice. Must have tried something a little different. Used washi tape to actually color block off those times that I would be at work. Got a little bit at the top here. Some more washi tape. Only kept track of one dinner. This is so me. So me. Really like the black and white verticals to mark my work hours. That is a lot of fun. Um, it looks like I probably had a research thing that I was working on but never got back to it. Weekends, I struggle. It's because I don't open my planner on the weekends. We're usually just hanging out or doing something that I take my planners everywhere with me, but I may not open them for the whole weekend. Uh, this one's fun. I have no idea what S and G B plus C is. No idea. Obviously, I put my habits in here trying to use a sidebar, but never went back to them. And it looks like I used all washi tape this week to mark anything that I was trying to keep track of. These colors aren't my favorite, but I don't really dislike them, if that makes sense. They're not, like, oh, offensive to my eyes. Again, very, very minimal. Very minimal. And again, very minimal. That is really, really bright. Holy cow. That is, like, funky colors. Get back into the colors that I love. It looks like I did washi tape down below. These are Simply Gilded, Simply Gilded. These little day headers are from Helen, so Coffee Monsters Co. Same with all of the stickers that are being marked. This is Simply Gilded right there as well. And it looks like I just used the washi tape to mark in a few things, not too many. This was a time where I didn't, I didn't fill in this one, so I went back to see if I could do time blocking. If you know me, I always try to do time blocking and it never works out because I am not that structured in life and I, I, it just, it doesn't work. So E for effort every time I go back and try to do time blocking. All right, that took us through that one. Let's start in here. I don't think I utilize my birthdays any better in here. We'll see. Or my monthly, sorry, not birthdays. They're a little brighter, so I was starting to get a little more in there. Um, so, yeah, there's a few more things marked in there. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so if we hop in here, I did this because I needed extra room to write, but honestly, if I wouldn't have blocked this out, I would have had plenty of room to write. So I wasn't sure what I was trying to do there, but... Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, again, this is really minimal. This is extremely minimal. Just washi tape and markers. And either that's in stickers. Uh, this is a week I just filmed and then I didn't put anything in there. Must have been just like a sample of how to use your Hobonichi. 
Love these colors. I'm really drawn to the blue and the orange. I don't know why the blue and the orange really appeal to me. And this one is just pen, stickers, and washi tape. That's, that's it. This one, I used some stickers from Walmart. I just had some, some number stickers and some goats. It was like a farm collection. I remember this one. I just filled it in. Again, pretty minimal. Very minimal. Very minimal again. I like this blocking out the color. It's with the uh, Colors of the World Crayola markers. Um, this was probably just like my regular, what are they called? Uh, mild liners, the dual sided mild liners, and then just some washi tape and stickers. I didn't even go back and put the weather temperatures in, just what type of weather we were having. Oh, this is when we went to Mexico and we stayed in a resort in the jungle. My nephew called it the Jesort. So I didn't memory plan or anything. Uh, as per vacation week after, uh, there you go. Not a whole lot going on. Wasn't too motivated to be back in my planner. And this week I skipped all together, but I had gone back another time to see if I could color block again. Oh, I am really wanting to do this color block and it just, no, 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 no. Oof, I don't know how I feel about this week. It is pretty, no, no. I think, yeah, this is the week my grandpa passed away. He passed away on Sunday, so yeah, there's that week. And this week we went for his funeral, so not a lot there. Week we got back, just skipping right through all these. I have no idea what those numbers are for. None. Zero. Zip. Zilch. None. I have no idea what I wrote those numbers for. I feel like I should have done a key. Ooh, busy. There's more of them. Um, yeah. I don't I don't feel this layout at all. It is so chaotic. No. Nope. Okay, so let's talk about the right kind of chaos. This is chaotic I don't like. This is chaotic and I love it. Is it because it's more of a neutral? Is it because the chaos seems a little more controlled? This chaos just feels like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This chaos is like, oh, okay, I can actually see what I'm doing. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I like this kind of chaos. Really like this layout. Drawn to it. Mmm. Meow. No, I am not a full on sticker kidder. I'll do it just to show different ideas for layouts, but this is not my favorite. We are back to, I'm gonna say this is minimalist, but it's really not because I've got a lot of things going on throughout the week. I do like this sideways writing. I started doing that just to kind of touch base on how my day was going, but then I stopped. I wonder if I should go back to that because I do like that. Next time I go through this, or maybe I'll watch it back with you guys, and I'll take notes of what I liked and what I didn't like. And that way I can incorporate it. So this was a pencil, all pencil week, nothing else. It's fine. I mean, there's if, if I was a full-time pencil planner, it wouldn't be just a regular planning day. I am not a big pencil pl pencil only planner. Good grief, Martha Stewart. That was hard. So... This was just something I was trying. Must be close to Christmas. Yep, we're coming into December. Not a whole lot going on. This exclamation point and that upload sticker. For a second, I thought I wrote that. I'm like, wow, dang girl, good job. And then I realized it's a sticker. No, I didn't write that. <laughs> uh, wow. Um, okay. Didn't fill out my checklist. I like this calendar. Maybe that's how I start using my sidebars. I cover up that calendar and draw my own, which seems so busybody of me. But I like how it looks. Okay. Mark my work schedule. I don't know why my work schedule was so small and then so big. I don't know. What's for dinner? That's cute. I like these down here. Those are kind of fun for the end of the day. Uh, must had a new Spider-Man movie come out. These are the stamps that I got. They're Star Wars. Yeah, so that one's kind of fun, a little busy. I, I don't love it. I don't hate it. Um, definitely don't necessarily love. I don't know. Again, 
this washi tape is out of control. I don't know what I was marking because I don't work until five o'clock at night. Like I don't do this tiny little work schedule. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Um, but other than that, it's pretty cute. Oh, remember the infamous washi tape that I used this year in April and it snowed on us? Yeah, there it is. It's where it made its debut. Debut, debut, debut. Yeah, so me. I don't know what this, what, what is this? What is this? I don't know what I'm doing. I really need to take better notes so that I know what I'm doing. All right, so that finishes that one. So that was the whole year of 2021. So let's pop into this year. I have done a flip through. Uh, my months are pretty generic. Haven't really decorated them a whole lot. So they're, they are what they are, what they are. This one I started for May. I didn't film it, maybe I should have, but I was trying to figure out what I wanted to upload. So I put a survey or a question or a poll or whatever over on Instagram and it seems like most people watch their plan with me's on Friday. So I am gonna start uploading my plan with me's on Friday and then on Saturdays, I'm gonna put up the previous weeks like after the pen so you guys can see what it looks like. So starting into the first of the year, pretty mild because this is a duplicate from last year. Like the, they have the same layout in both books. So I didn't really pop into it until the second week. Again, I love this layout. I love how the stickers go over. I didn't think I would when I was filming it, but looking back, I really, really do. I really, really very much love this. How are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good. I don't wanna bore you completely. Uh, pen test on the side, I wish I wouldn't have done that because it really takes the aesthetics away from it, but I wanted to show the new Tombow markers that I got that week. A little smudgy smudge here on my washi tape from my pen. But yeah, for the most part, washi tape and stickers. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Oh, my favorite washi tape that is no more. Got that on Etsy. Again, washi tape, washi tape, stickers, easy. Easy, easy. Got some Tombow marker action and marker action in there. Washi tape, Tombows, stickers. Washi Tombows. Oh, I like how I wrote dinner on the side here and then just went across, kinda. Oh, and I marked out which actual Tombows I was using so that I could go back and remember. But it doesn't look like I went back and filled anything in. Love this week. Um, I like having this down here. That's kind of fun. I hope you guys are getting some ideas on different layouts that you can try uh, in yours just to kind of see how it's going to work. And never feel bad if you don't go back and fill things in. If it's an empty week, just let it be an empty week. We're allowed to have empty weeks. This does not match at all. Why was I thinking this goes with blue? Oh, because this has blue in it, but this doesn't. Okay, April. Okay, April, I got you. I got a bunch of laptop stickers, so you're going to see those throughout because I had a whole bunch of them. I do love that I put down all of my planning. Maybe that's what I need to do. Listen to me. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to have to watch this with all of you so that I can, like, remember what I'm saying. I like this because this is the washi tape and the Tombows that I'm using for this layout. I think it looks pretty on the sidebar and it's functional because then I can go back and look and say, okay, that's this number, this number, and this number. Silly gooses. Okay. All right. Obviously, I was feeling a little green and blue. Uh, okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Again, just washi tape, markers, and it looks like some highlighters in there and my stickers. And a doodle for crumble cookie. See what I was talking about about this laptop stickers. So those are in there. I do like this layout. I think I would have taken her out and just left the books, but whatevs. It is what it is. Obviously, we didn't eat because I didn't do a grocery list. Gosh, shame on me for, for not going back and filling that in. <laughs> oh, it happens more often than not. Oh, this is the layout with such, you know, I had good intentions. This is the good intentions layout. It's beautiful. And then on Wednesday, I'm like, this is hard work. I'm done. 
And then I stuck a sticker in there because I'm like, yeah, we're also not eating this week, I guess. Oh, Martha Stewart. I do like that I did like this little, hey, how'd the day go? And I like the colors, but I didn't finish it. This one I love. I love this washi tape. These are Tombow markers that matched that so well. Again, we didn't eat. <laughs> I don't know why I keep putting groceries over here if I'm not writing them in. Like, isn't that the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over again, over and over and like expecting a different result. Welcome to my planner. All right, this one's super pretty. I wish I would have written in what those are, but my thinking is they were probably Crayola colors of the world and they don't have actual like numbers. They have long names. Oh my gosh, we did eat. Good for us. Finally, a week where we ate. I did actually mark off a couple of things, but again, Wednesday seems to be my day where this page is always filled out. Doesn't that look nice? And then this page is like, we tried. Good try. This is the week I caused it to hail, rain, snow, sleet, every emotion that weather can go through we had this week. And I blame it because I blame it on this washi tape that I put down because it has snowflakes on it. So... I take full credit. Oh, and it looks just like this week we only have avoc had avoc avocados to eat. So we were stranded in our house with nothing but avocados. So I need to stop doing this or put in my groceries. Martha Stewart. It's not like I don't have enough room. Well, unless I lay down a forest of trees, but you know what I mean. Da, 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 da. Oh, this one is so much fun. All right, so I took my vellum sticky notes and laid them down. And look at this. It says shopping list here. There is my shopping list. So I can just take this off and then put it back in when I do my shopping. And then this one, because I wanted to write over these, I just covered it up with that those vellum sticky notes, which I absolutely loved. I really enjoyed using this kit. It was an Amazon kit that was made for like a Moxie Life or a regular horizontal planner. So it was too wide. The stickers were too wide. So I just cut them down a quarter of an inch on each side and used them. And then once I used them, I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll get a different sticker kit and use it. And then I was like, well, maybe I should just order a sticker kit from Helen at Coffee Monsters Co. Because she makes kits specifically for... Hobonichi Cousins. And so that is what I did. On week 17 of this year, I put in a Hobonichi uh, Weeks kit from Helen at Coffee Monsters Co. I stinking love it. And when I was laying this down, I kept telling myself, April, you are not going to use stickers every week. Don't use stickers every April. And I look at this and I love this aesthetic. Like, I really like this a lot, a lot. And I know it's going to bulk up my planner. And you know what? I'm okay with it. I am absolutely okay with it. And look, I even used my grocery sidebar. I used my weight tracker. I mean, I really went all out. There's hardly any. And look, our dinners are actually filled in. I don't know what happened. I don't, I do. This is the week I started the um, put up on Friday. I almost said put out on Friday. Yikes. Put out on Friday. Put out on Saturday. So for this week, like week 17, I would have done the pre-plan where there's not a lot of ink and stuff, what you guys normally see, on Friday of week 16. Oh, this is going to get really convoluted. And then the following Saturday, so Saturday the 30th, I upload all of this so you can see how how it ended like how the week ended and because I'm committed to showing you guys what it looks like at the end of the week I am more committed to go back and filling things in so this is what it looks like because I am on week 18 right now so this is the pre-plan that will go up on Friday the 29th and then on this Saturday I will put up how this all looked I know I'm excited, right? And that's where I'm at. That's as far as I've gone. And this is another sneak peek into the uh, sticker kit that I got from Coffee Monsters Co. The sticker kit's about six bucks because I get two pages, uh, but six bucks a week, that's one coffee or one and a half from Starbucks. I'm trying to justify it for myself. 
And if you look, my book's already starting to get a little bit bulky. So I like this, even though on my channel when I'm filming, I'm like, I don't like, I don't want a big book. It's a lie. I do. I want a girthy book. I want a planner that I go back and look at in, you know, five years and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all of this. I know. I'm a weirdo. They go on my bookshelf next to my favorite reads. So they're available for anybody to look at. <laughs> anybody that's at my house. There's nothing in there that I don't write in later that, you know, I wouldn't share with someone. So, oh, and then daily pages. I really need to figure out what I'm doing with daily pages because there are more blank pages in this daily than there are filled in pages. So I need to figure out what I'm doing with them and just do it. Do it, do it, do it. But until then, that is the flip through of a year and a half one year and a half in Hobonichi Cousins. And I'm so glad you guys joined me. I hope you have the best day. Please subscribe down below and I will see you soon. Love you. Bye.